In today's video, you're going to meet a murderous catfish, and a fish whose jaws can literally cut other fish in half. The Great White Shark. Nothing scarier than a great white shark, am I right? That's why no list of dangerous fish or sea creatures will be complete without them. These apex predators can be found throughout the world's oceans, but like to keep close to the coast where they find it easier to hunt. And reaching a maximum of 6 meters long, they can pretty much hunt whenever they want. And with a top speed of 60 kilometers per hour, they also have the speed to catch any meal that they'd like. They use their 300 or so razor sharp teeth to quickly dismember their prey, which includes sea lions, seals, small whales, and the occasional swimmer or two. Whales catfish. Whales catfish are huge freshwater fish that can grow to an incredible 16 feet long. These giants are found in lakes and rivers in Europe and are easily recognized by their broad, flat head and huge mouth. They aren't picky when it comes to meals and eat a range of worms, insects, fish, rodents, frogs, and birds. Their mouths contain rows of small but incredibly sharp teeth designed to grab hold onto struggling prey. They also have a reputation for being man killers, as there are numerous supports of this fearsome fish attacking and killing people usually fishermen or unsuspecting swimmers. The Moray Eel Leave him be and you'll probably be fine. But if you annoy or disturb a Moray Eel without any real reason, you might leave the encounter missing a few fingers. One of the most vicious fish in the sea, and they will not hesitate to attack anything, including humans. The jaws of the Moray Eel are equipped with strong, sharp teeth, enabling them to seize hold of their prey and inflict serious wounds. They are, however, pretty docile if you leave them alone. In fact, there's footage of people touching more eels out in the wild and not getting harmed. They tend to live in tropical and subtropical areas where the water is shallow and they can hide among the rocks and in the reefs. If you fancy diving to see one, I suggest the beaches in Egypt, Belize, and Mexico. The Kandiru This scaleless fish is commonly found in the Amazon River and are voracious blood feeders. They're small, small enough to insert themselves into the gill cavities of other fish and feed off of them like a person lucky enough to live in an all-you-can-eat buffet. Their feeding habits are disturbing enough, but that's not the scary part. These tiny fish also attack humans in what probably use the most painful way possible. It will enter the human body through the urethra, digging its sharp spines into the urethra's walls, which causes unbelievable pain, inflammation, infections, and in the worst cases, even death. How do these fish find their way into a person's urethra, though? Well, it's said that they're attracted to urine. So if you find yourself waist deep in the Amazon River, please don't be in the water. The Red Bellied Piranha. Red Bellied Piranhas are South American fish with razor sharp teeth and a reputation for feeding frenzies. In fact, piranha means toothfish in the Brazilian language of the Tupi people. They live in groups called a shoal, and people think that these fish travel in groups so they can overwhelm prey in a choreographed feeding frenzy. If you've seen a school of these fish turn what was once an intact body into nothing but bone, then you already have an idea on how nasty these fish actually are. They also attack humans, but not without purpose. You see, most of these attacks occur during the dry season when food is scarce, and while some attacks have been fatal, most encounters with them usually result in multiple cuts on the hands and feet. The Ocean White Tip Shark Time for another shark to enter the fray. Although the great white shark, tiger sharks, and bull sharks have far more recorded attacks on humans, the oceanic white tip is generally believed to have killed the most people. Why is that, though? Well, because of their penchant for picking off survivors of shipwrecks and downed planes. White tips were actually responsible for killing 150 crewmen of the downed ship, the USS Indianapolis, in July of 1945. The ship was sunk by a Japanese torpedo, and the survivors waited days floating in the water for rescue. The sharks fed on the dead initially, but when they ran out, they started to attack the living. The Great Barracuda The Great Barracuda is built for speed. Their torpedo-shaped bodies can attain speeds of up to 90 kilometers per hour. And on the tip of that 1.5 meter long living torpedo are two sets of razor sharp teeth. When a Great Barracuda attacks a fish at that speed, it's normal for that poor fish to be cut cleanly in half. Attacks on humans do also happen, but they're pretty rare. They usually stay clear of divers, but spear fishermen have reported barracudas targeting the fish impaled at the end of their spears. They can also harm humans in other ways. Some barracudas are laced with a toxin that, when eaten, can cause serious symptoms from vomiting to leg weakness, and those symptoms can last more than three months. The Payara The Payara is one of the strangest fish that you'll find in South America mainly because of their enormous fangs, which give rise to the other name as Vampire Fish and Dracula Fish. 
Seen prowling the waters of the Amazon River, Ayaras are ferocious hunters that are constantly on the hunt for their next meal, and they don't let anything get in the way of dinner time. They've been known to chase off medium and large sized fish that they don't want to eat just so the water will be clear for the fish they do want to consume. They've also been known to hunt down and eat another freshwater predator, the piranha. The Puffer Fish The puffer, also called the swellfish or the blowfish, has a unique defense mechanism. It inflates when disturbed or threatened. And while blowing up like a balloon isn't at all dangerous for you and me, this fish is hiding a secret weapon, a toxin a thousand times more lethal than cyanide. The substance is called tetrodotoxin and can be found in the fish's liver, ovaries, intestines, and skin. This poison affects the brain of its victim and can cause weakness, paralysis, and even death. The Yellow Boxfish A cousin of the pufferfish, the boxfish is dangerous in its own right. These fishies can grow up to 17 inches and usually weigh just about 2 pounds. They also have box-shaped bodies and are absolutely cute with their yellow and black color scheme. They're also highly poisonous, and unlike the pufferfish, the yellow boxfish doesn't wait for it to be inside a predator's mouth before it unleashes chemical warfare. This fish can release a poisonous substance called ostracidotoxin that can kill other fishes in its surroundings. The Goliath Tigerfish Being the most dangerous fish in Africa, the Goliath Tigerfish definitely belongs on this list. These freshwater fish are found in the Congo River Basin and are highly predatory, feeding on literally anything they can catch. These highly aggressive fish are touted to be Africa's version of the piranha. In fact, Goliath tigerfish are the only freshwater fish in Africa that are actively known to attack humans. With the ability to reach a whopping 130 pounds, these fierce predators often attack unsuspecting swimmers. Each tooth is around one inch long and there's never any worry about them losing any as they even have a set of replacement teeth when they're lost or broken. The Northern Stargazer it's not called the baddest fish in the ocean for nothing. The Northern Stargazer is not only ugly, which is probably the reason why it keeps itself buried under the sand most of the time, it's also quite formidable. They have poisonous spines that run along its back, so stepping on one of these fish accidentally will surely ruin your day. They're also one of the few fish that can shock using electricity built up in its body. Northern Stargazers have an organ on their heads that can create an electric charge that can reach up to 50 volts. Not really enough to kill a person, but more than enough to stun prey or discourage predators. And now it's time for the day's best pick. Find out more about these ghastly fish next with number 3. The Lamprey. These ancient fish have been around for over 360 million years and have survived four major extinctions. Talk about being a survivor and a trooper. These fish are unique as they don't have jaws. Instead, they have large suction cup mouths filled with tiny horn-shaped teeth and a razor-sharp tongue. The teeth help the lamprey attach to its victim, while the tongue does most of the work, scraping away enough scales to reach the soft flesh and blood vessels of its prey. Once attached, the lamprey suck the fish's nutrients directly from its bloodstream. The Red Lionfish the red lionfish are famous for their venomous fin spines, which are capable of producing painful, though rarely fatal, puncture wounds. The fishes have large pectoral fins and elongated dorsal fin spines, and each species bears a particular pattern of bold, zebra-like stripes. When disturbed, the fish will spread their fins, and if aggravated further, they will attack with their dorsal spines. Near to the South Pacific ecosystem, it relies on camouflage and lightning-fast reflexes to capture its prey, mainly fish and shrimp. If a human were to be stung by a lionfish, it wouldn't be fatal, however, but it would be extremely painful and could cause nausea and breathing difficulties. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. The Stonefish Stonefish are found in rocky or muddy bottoms of marine habitats in the Indo-Pacific region. Their camouflage is so dang perfect you're never going to be able to see one if they remain still pressed against the rocks that litter the sea floor, making stepping on one a real and very dangerous possibility. They have 13 spines lining its back that release venom under pressure. Granted, if you inadvertently step on a stonefish thinking it's just another harmless rock, it's going to pop up its dorsal spines and release venom from two sacks at the base of each spine. Unsurprisingly, the more venom that's injected, the worse it is for you. Stings result in terrible pain, swelling, necrosis, and if you received a particularly large amount of venom, death. See you all next time, swim safe.